welcome back to my channel. It's me, it's I, your girl, Constance Federica, Federica, Federica. How you guys gonna freaking pronounce it, okay? I have a video for you guys today, and yes, I am about to do another freaking story time. You guys, I read the title, so you already know what it's about. But anyway, I am eating oxtail, you guys. Look at my hair, it's so cute, ain't it? Uh, it's just like a little ponytail. But yeah, I am eating oxtail slow cooker it's like slow cooker oxtail with jerk sauce and cheesy rice okay so i'm about to i need to taste my food first because i'm so starving it's gonna be so long mm. Ooh, it's hot already And I have water. It took me so long to sit down and do this because my cat kept freaking making those growling noises. You guys already know what's going on. And I wanted to lock her in my room, but I was thinking she might mess it up. She might try and like get mad at me and do something weird. But I locked I I put her in prison and I got my food and it's actually still it's warm the rice is hot that's cool because I like my food I don't like my food always piping hot so this is cool for me um and I put it on a silver platter I gotta show you guys again this is so freaking awesome more up close Oh, and yeah, I got, like, some sauce. Like, the rice is sitting on the sauce. Like, I made, I put the rice first, and I put the oxtail on each side, and then I, like, took the spoon, the soup spoon thingy, and I, like, poured some sauce over both. So, now it's just, like, it's sitting in some sauce, and it's pretty good. So, and it's spicy, but I want rice first. Mmm, -hmm. it's so good. So I have a story time for you guys. Hopefully it's just for you guys because my mom does not know about this. <laughs> I feel like with oxtail you gotta eat with your hands, so I'm gonna go ahead and just like first take a sip of water. And I don't want you guys to see it. Oh, that's better. No, that glare though. Okay. That's butter. So, I want to take a bite of these. They're so sticky. Oh, oh, they are so hot. They just like fall off the bone when you cook them in a slow cooker. Mmm. <sighs> oh, so good. Mmm. I don't think this is gonna be a long video at all so you guys this is what happened in freaking eighth grade I'm not gonna do this with my fingers cuz it's too sticky so I'm gonna use fork and fingers fork and fingers y'all I want to use fork and fingers I wish I could get my whole freaking head in because it looks so weird like this but okay so some oxtail a little bit of rice a little bit of sauce. Mm, 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 mm. When I was a little kid, I ate everything my grandma, my great grandma would make. So me eating oxtails now, I can eat like so many things that people wouldn't like imagine me to eat. But like I grew up eating with my freaking great grandma and I ate everything she ate. I didn't, I had no shame. Chicken feet, freaking oxtails, neck bones and stuff like that. No shame, but this looks so good. I gotta show you guys one more time, then I'll stop. Oh wait, I don't want it to drip. It's kind of saucy, it's real drippy, but yes, you guys. Mmm. Mmm, so good. So like in eighth grade, 
I went to like this math and science academy and it was a pretty good school. You had to like take a test to get in there and they picked more like advanced kids. Like I was in advanced, I was in an advanced class in sixth grade. So the school ended at sixth grade. So I had to go to a middle school, I guess. So I went to the math and science academy and it was called Galileo Math and Science Academy. I went there and it was pretty good school. So like, I went there seventh, no, of course. My eighth grade rolled around. By the end of seventh grade, I was like testing things out. I was just like testing things out, you know, just being a bad kid, but Mmm. Tastes good together. Separately too, but together is so good. So, in eighth grade, I used to ride the yellow school bus. Okay, not the short one. I know what you guys are thinking. I used to ride the yellow school bus to school. And on this bus, there was this girl. Her family, like a lot of her family actually went to the school. And they had like a huge family. And they kind of reminded me of like the Kardashians. Like they were all so freaking pretty. Like they even had like the Armenian type of look. Like they didn't look necessarily like white. They weren't Spanish. I don't know, maybe they were. Their last name was like Mayoski. I don't know what type of last name that is. Um, if it actually is like Armenian or something. I don't know. But yeah, so there was this one girl. She would ride the bus as well. Her and her little brother. Um, we rode the same bus route. It was pretty cool. I really liked her family and her. Um... So she was in a grade under me though, but I was in classes with her cousin. So whatever, we knew each other. And um, yeah, we were just really cool on the bus. Like we had good times on the bus. We were having fun. We always sat next to each other. Our bus driver was weird. We were bad kids. Like we used to throw stuff out the freaking window. <laughs> It was just crazy, but anyway, so like this girl, she had a bar in her basement, and she was pretty like trying stuff too. And we wasn't necessarily trying things; we were just being like bad. So, mm, so one day she got on the bus, and she had some alcohol. She had already previously told me, like, oh, we got bar in the basement. And, like, her and her brothers or her cousins and stuff, they would, like, sneak down there. Sometimes they, like, drink a little bit, like, just because. And, um, long story short, she brought alcohol to the bus one day. And we drank some on the bus. And that was that. And then, like, it happened a few more times that we would drink on the bus just a little bit, you know, and just, like, it was so nasty anyway, but, like, we would drink it, laugh, thought it was funny, and, um, yeah, that was that. But there was this one day where she brought a lot on the bus, and she drank some, I drank some, I drank a lot on the bus, Okay. I drink a lot of it. it was, I'll never forget the name. It was called Seven Crown. And she would bring in like these juice jugs and like pour it in there and bring it. And we would drink or whatever. So she drank some. I drank some. I drank most of it. Maybe all of it. I don't know. But I remember it was so nasty. We were just doing like crazy stuff. I don't even know why, but we did it. So I drank a lot of it, and when I got to school, like, a little bit after getting there, I felt a little tipsy. I felt tipsy. It just felt so weird. My stomach felt weird and everything. And I was like, I shouldn't have drank that. 
I, I knew I made a mistake at that point because I just didn't feel right and I felt tipsy like it was not a good feeling so there I am I mean I wish I could just like get this hair out of here um here I am we were switching classes we would like switch classes for like math science and stuff like that so I like switch classes and half my class was paired with the half of a different class eighth grade class so it would be like that and um we sort of you know we were doing our thing or whatever and i started feeling really 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 sick and i had to go to the freaking bathroom because i knew i had to throw up so i raised my hand and of course i asked my teacher like hey can i go to the bathroom and she was just like wait and stuff like that like you can wait and whatever um and she was really nice and i wasn't a bad student but she was just like wait and i asked her again um and they told me to wait or like, just wait a few minutes like just wait and i waited <laughs> still feeling terrible the stomach is about to like freaking flip out so i waited and Next thing you knew, I freaking, I threw up, I threw up you guys, like I really like, I'm talking about full-fledged, just throw up, okay, all over the place, <laughs> and I remember saying, I told you I had to go to the bathroom, <laughs> so I threw up, and I know, I got sent to the office, Cause I was sick and stuff like that, and I went in the office and I just felt so bad. And they were asking me questions, you know, they let you like lay on the bed and stuff. So I laid on the bed and I like after I threw up and I got water. They were asking was I okay and stuff like that. And I eventually when I laid on the bed, I started to like fall asleep, but I I didn't know if I would get in trouble because I knew that. I knew what it was, but they didn't know. And I was, like, wondering if they would know what it was. <laughs> um, I remember laying on the bed, and I, like, laughed a little bit. Probably because I was tipsy. And I started falling asleep. Eventually, I called my auntie up. She came to get me, and... um. I don't know, they never said anything or whatever, like, she's this or she's that. Like, maybe they just really thought I was sick. So, I got to, I started walking down the stairs to go out the door to my auntie's car. But she actually had my other auntie's car. So, I seen the red car and I was like, whose car is that? <laughs> so, that's what happened. And as I was actually walking down the stairs, it was, like, weird because... I've never been tipsy, like, drunk or stuff like that, but, like, I was tipsy going downstairs, so it wasn't that easy, and I was trying to keep my composure, and my auntie was just talking, she's like, hey, stomach hurts, she kept asking me, I was like, I don't know, I just feel sick, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these things, it's weird getting the meat off. Cause sometimes I think it's all bone, but then like in between parts of the bone, be like meat. So, mm -hmm. my cat is trying to get out of prison. So we got home to her house. She lived like right around the corner, and it was cool. I laid down and stuff. I laid down. I went to sleep for a very long time. By the time I woke up, my cousins were out of school. And it was like night time. My mom hadn't came and got me up. But I remember my auntie asking, Are you pregnant? And I was like, What? No. Like, I was like eighth grade. Like, seriously? Like, come on now. Like, that cannot be possible. But then, like, now I think about it. My cousin had a freaking baby in like eighth grade. So maybe she didn't, you know, maybe she thought I was like, active or whatever but I actually wasn't but I don't know I used to go over her house a lot anyway hang out with my cousin because I really love my cousin she was my favorite cousin because our birthday is like two days apart and stuff like that 
So I spent a lot of time over there. So maybe she thought I had been doing the same thing, but I wasn't. No, I was not. That's like what? That was way too early. So for me, that was way too early. I wasn't doing anything. I remember you asked that question. I was like, no. <laughs> My mom came and got me. And, whew, I'm just choked. Like this, right? Hmm. I'm trying to go really fast so this video is not super long, but I'll try to take my time. So eventually my mom came and got me. I remember I just thought I was sick. Probably my auntie thought it was something else in the back of her mind, though. But I rather I was sick. I don't know, I went back to school. The next day, or maybe the day after the next, or whatever. I went back to school. Um, I remember this one girl was just like, she was like, "Oh my God, I think, I think such and such teacher knows." And I was just like, "How?" And they was just like, "When well, you threw up, it smelled like alcohol." I was like, "Oh." So I was scared to face that teacher. When I seen her though, um. Actually, the girl had told me in the morning because, like, we would all meet up in the morning. Like, everybody who took the buses or got there, like, would meet up in the lunchroom in the morning before the bell rang. Like, you get breakfast and stuff like that. Go to the bathroom. You just sit there. So, like, they were telling me and stuff. And, um, I was just like, oh, snap. I didn't want to face that teacher. And do I have grease on my face? I didn't want to face her. So, I felt bad. And that's normally, like, not my character, but we were just doing something really stupid. And it was dumb. And I knew I had messed up. And I was like, I'll never, ever, ever do that again. So. I'm, like, halfway through this. already. Sometimes I can eat fast. Sometimes it's just, like, whatever. Okay, so I'm. When I finally seen her, she didn't mention it. The teacher didn't mention it. And I was, she didn't never mention it. But, I still had a feeling that she might have known. But she just didn't say anything. Because, I feel like she didn't say anything. And the teacher who, she was my homeroom teacher. But the teacher whose room I switched to, Possible she probably had known, but maybe they just didn't say anything because maybe it would have been too much heat or something. I don't know. No one said anything, but if the students knew, I feel like the other students knew, I feel like maybe that teacher had known and they could have possibly traveled to the other. My homeroom teacher, I don't know. I never know if she knew. But I had the feeling that she did. So. Make a long story short, that was like, that was bad. I, my mom never found out, I never told her when I got older and out of like high school and all, every like, I just never told her. I never told my auntie. I feel so bad because they don't know and I hope they never freaking find out. <laughs> hopefully they'll never see this video. I feel like it was like, even though I'm like an adult, like I feel like it might hurt their feelings because like why would you hide something like that? Why would you do something like that in the first place? And for them to not know, like especially my mom, like when I got older, I told her like a lot of things that we would see, like when we would be outside, we would like go to other places in the neighborhood and like we would see all this stuff and we just didn't tell her. But I told her, like I would tell her something like older, like oh, guess what? I see when I was younger when we like snuck to a different neighborhood we thought we were around the corner, we went somewhere else, stuff like that. And um she'd be like, Oh my god, I didn't know and that was dangerous and so I wouldn't want her to know because I feel like she would feel like you know how like some parents feel like they made these huge mistakes with their kids and stuff like that and they didn't know and they 
want to like control what's going on and protect and stuff like that. So I wouldn't want her to find out. But I can't hold this story in for freaking ever. So I'm telling you guys. <laughs> I hope my mom did not see this. <laughs> I think I told my well, I told my brother, so they know. Well, at least I think I told one of my brothers. Not both of them. And I might have told a couple of my friends and stuff like that, but never my mother. Um, I think I'm done with that one. I think I'm getting full. So, yeah. My freaking fingers are sticky. They got jerk sauce all over them. And I'm going to continue to eat. This is my dinner time. So, yeah. That was my story, y'all. And I am not, I was not a bad kid. I actually was a good kid. I was doing stupid things. I was a good kid. I got good grades. I got, I didn't stay in the best neighborhood, but I got a chance because of my grades to like not have to go to my neighborhood schools and stuff. So I was always like out of district. You know, like they would call the smart schools and stuff. I was always out of district, and I got a chance to go to the smart school, I guess. Um, so I didn't have to go to my neighborhood school. I wasn't a bad kid. I was actually okay. And um, I don't know. That was just like a... That was just weird. I never did that again. Um, yeah, I don't know. But what, what type of stories do you guys have? Like, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, like, what other story times? What type of story times would you guys want to hear from me? I got some funny ones. I got sad ones. I have a lot of story times. <laughs> but, you know, I probably won't hit on the sad ones too much because it's, like, too emotional and stuff. And, I don't know, I just want to try and keep my peace for now and avoid sad stuff for now you know and yeah so mm, so good the tricky thing about these are when you actually freaking think you got a piece of meat it might be a piece of fat but either way it's still okay I like the fatty parts but sometimes you'll be like oh yeah I got me a meaty portion well, it is that. But these are really good. This is my first time actually making them in the crock. No, no, it's not. It's not. I've done it before. But just not like with jerk sauce. I've done it like with just like regular vegetables and salt and pepper and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like making food at home. Like, it's so good when it's home from home. And you know, like, it's clean. You know, like, freaking, you'll know for sure, like, your freaking oxtail didn't fall on the floor. Like, what if you think about, like, like, let's say some of the food that you get from a restaurant, like, it falls on the floor. And they might be sure on oxtail that night. You order this lovely thing of oxtail. So, they're so freaking delicious. You order them. The restaurant's lower oxtails. But, you know what they have? They have room for one more order. Let's say they're rushing to fix your stuff because it's busy in the kitchen. Your freaking oxtails fall on the floor or in the garbage or I don't know. And... Hey, the order is in. This is the only batch of oxtails left. And maybe they just rinse them off and still serve them to you. Or maybe they'll say, we don't have to rinse them off because the heat is going to kill anything that, you know, gets on these oxtails. Any bacteria that gets on here, the heat will kill it over a certain amount of degrees, blah, 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 blah. 
just never know how people think. And I don't mean to scare you guys, but I think in general, restaurants are pretty good at sanitation. And I think I've had pretty good experiences. And I don't know necessarily everything that happens in the back, but I haven't gotten, I think I've gotten sick about once at a restaurant. It was a Hooters. But I never stopped going there because I just figured maybe they had a bad night, okay? And I think my food is actually undercooked. So I never stopped going there. I waited a while though to go back the next time. And yeah, I never stopped going. But I don't think it's, wrestlers are bad as far as that. Maybe even old food or something. I don't know. But anyway. This was a hit. <laughs> it was a hit. It was good. I would eat this again. I still got leftovers. So, I can eat, eat some tomorrow, or when my mom comes over, she'll probably want to taste them. So, if I don't feel like eating them tomorrow, I'll give them to her. Or if my brother comes over, he'll eat them. If I don't eat them. So yeah, gave you guys my very crazy story time. I'm not proud of it. Please don't ever do it. Mm. I shouldn't been drinking then. I don't drink now because I don't like alcohol. Um, and yeah, I feel like I got in so much trouble, but I feel like I was. They had mercy on me because I feel like they, some people knew, but they just didn't say anything. And I just want to do it again. Like, as young people, like, you guys shouldn't do it. Cause you got to think, like, later if your parents find out they were so embarrassed or things could happen. I could have got kicked out of school. I could have gotten expelled or whatever. It could have made the news. Anything could have happened. It could have been so embarrassing. And that's punishable. So... That bus driver probably could have gotten in trouble. That other girl could have gotten in trouble. Her parents. Like, you just never know. So, I had learned my lesson quickly after everything that happened. And I still believe to this day, my auntie probably thought I got pregnant or something. But, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, that was my story time. I actually devoured this. It's all over. It's in the bones. So, I'm thirsty. My fingers are like, I can't lick this off. It's so sticky. I can't even lick it. I've been licking my fingers for days. So, I'm just going to, when I finish, I'm going to wash my hands. And I need to drink some water, though. Let me know if you guys want more story times. If so, leave them in the comment. Leave your freaking leave your comment in the comment section down below. Also, if you want more videos, more eating videos, more mukbangs, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, what type of food should I freaking eat? I don't want to eat any pork. Um, no, I'm not gonna eat any pork. Seafood, eh, maybe. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think I should eat in the comment section down below and yeah i'll see y'all so later thanks for watching my video by the way if you like it give me a big fat thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and again thank you guys for watching and let me know if you like these videos leave down in the comment section down below too but i will see you guys later bye Give me the ball, give me the ball, take a top shift Call my girls and put them all on a spaceship Hang one night when you say I'll make you famous Have you ever seen a stage going ape shit?